All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh. Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, great millstone, and peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there pushing his word of truth sincerity, and uh, death and destruction to all you bug outs out there, you know, you non believers. So, uh, amen, we're still in the year of prophecy, dummies, okay? And I'm talking to all you scoffers and scorners, all you people that watch the, the videos uh, unworthily. Or you watch the videos as a as a form of entertainment, or you're just a, a hearer of the word and not a doer. And we know what the scriptures um, talk about hearers of the word, you know, because you you uh, a lot of you people who watch these videos, it's just you just it's all it's all but a number of lip service with you, okay? This this word is not a this word doesn't hit you as hard to the point to where you can't. Hey man, let me get this scripture. Let me get this scripture. So that this will prove that you're not uh, you're not part of that number. All right. Let me get this real quick. In Jeremiah the 20th chapter, because this word is supposed to uh, hit you, and you you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to contain yourself. You're gonna have to you have to have speak. You have to prophesy. This is uh, Jeremiah 20 and 9. Then said I, I would not make mention of, of him. You know, so pretty much I would not, I would not prophesy, because you know dealing with Jake, man, dealing with you Israelites, can be very draining. It says, nor speak any more in his name, but his word was in my heart, as a burning fire shut up in my bones. So this word was uh, very hot with inside Jeremiah, even though that he didn't want to, he didn't want to speak these words unto the children of Israel. But the Lord, he forced them, you know. Which we are all controlled by the uh, the spirit of Yah Bashman Shai. That's why uh, we can't stop doing this, you know. It says, "And I was weary with forbidding." Yeah, he could. He could. He he was tired with forbid forbearing. I'm sorry, forbearing. Uh, let's look at this word forbearing. In the blue letter, just real quick. Kawal. It means to seize, contain, measure. To sustain, to contain, to hold in, to restrain, to endure. So pretty much he was he was weary within containing himself, meaning not uh, not speaking, uh, forbearing, you know, of abstaining, uh, abstaining from something, right? Abstaining from pick, uh, uh, pushing out this word. Because when you come to serve the Lord, what does it talk about in uh, Sirach, the, the second chapter? When you come to serve the Lord. Uh, prepare, prepare your mind for temptations you know so you prepare your mind to be afflicted prepare your mind for Satan to come at you on a high level and and, and guys they don't want they don't want those afflictions because they want to uh, they still want to live comfortably in um, in their current situation they, and they think that that's okay that's going to be enough with the Heavenly Father but the Heavenly Father doesn't acqu uh, acquire you I mean require you to uh, when you when you hear this word to uh, push push out this word okay so it says and I was weary with forbearing and I could not stay I mean he had to go out and he had to speak uh, especially how, how things are getting turned up especially being in the year of prophecy you know I, I can see if you didn't see any prophecies happening but we're actually here we're actually in the year of prophecy where the spirit jumped on an apostle to hard to name it that but it was a fitting name because we can see that all the prophecy we're in we're we're in all these prophecies right now, like like Revelation the thirteenth chapter of the Mark of the Beast. We're in we're even we're in that uh <laughs> we're in Revelation the thirteenth chapter, the, the 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 full manifestation of the of the actual Mark of the Beast is just not implemented, but that system is out there. That system is out. The people are getting chipped. Uh, the the blockchain is out there. You know, people are buying and selling with the RFID to NFC. All right, you you have uh, China. They're China. They're pretty much ninety five percent cashless. Okay, that that's going to jump over to India. All right, that's going to uh, 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 that's going to jump jump over to all the uh, states all the uh, states here. It's going to jump to Africa. They have something called the the bankless. The bankless uh, uh, generation, where basically down in Africa, down in these third world countries, uh, a lot of these people they're not they're not tuned in 
they're not connected to the system because they can't get a bank they can't, because they don't have a bank account in these third world countries uh, okay because you have to have identification but what's happening is they're developing apps for those for those countries to get on the what the blockchain okay so you're seeing that that's the, that's the prophecy are you seeing the prophecy with Trump uh, America uh, which he's the king of Babylon at this particular moment which we know that there's people behind him he's nothing but a puppet he's a figurehead but uh, never uh, it's still it's still all the same though we still the most high is the, is the one who's moving everything we know that right Proverbs 21 and 1 and also we know that we're in the last days I want to bring out this scripture real quick this is just another testament that we're in the last days, all right? Because we have a, a massive influx of haters of the Most High, massive influx of scoffers and scorners, okay? And 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 these seducing spirits, like the script is going to go into. This First Timothy's four and one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, and we see that. We see people getting kicked out. We're seeing people uh, um, lose their faith, get exhausted. Uh, lose the ability to fight because this is all about a fight is it not all right the lord he's a uh, he's a man of war so just just waking up in the morning that's a fight just getting up and going to work that's a fight eating eating pop properly is a fight everything just keeping your body in um, an upright position is a fight okay so the lord is all always about fighting man it's always about what fighting <coughs> and conquering all right and those who endure to the end are essentially those who are going to conquer uh, uh, <coughs> Satan through Yahweh Shai. That overcome. Those who overcome. Right? It says, In the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. So you have now, you just have a large influx of just doctrines of devils, man. Alright? Meaning, these different philosophies, these, these different ideologies, these different ways of living. Even um, subsections within uh, this truth, okay. This truth is even compartmentalized, okay. You have you have the truth, the real truth, which Great Millstone holds, holds the uh, the whole doctrine. But then from there, you have splinter groups that break off. You have pseudo uh, Israelite camps that are that are just out of order. They might teach the right doctrine, but they're out of order. Which that's that's part of the doctrine being in order. So you have a you have a lot of these seducing spirits going around, okay? You have Esau; he's a seducing spirit with his me, uh, media, with his fake news, all everything that he puts out through his educational system, okay? It's fake news, all right? That covering that spread across the uh, the planet Earth right now, which that covering is getting yanked off, but what? But what? By the spirit of the Lord's mouth, which is what the prophets, the prophets of the Lord, speaking lies and hypocrisies, lying, acting. You have guys in within Great Millstone that have knowledge, that have breakdowns, that that seem very eloquent, but they're uh um they're they're full of hypocrisy, man, because it's really all an act. All right, here it is. They show uh they uh they tell you to do one thing, and behind closed doors they're doing something else, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. So this is almost like if you if you think of consciousness as a computer or a processor. Because that's basically what a computer is based off. It's based off the mind, based off the human body, how it functions. So the, the, the process would be the, the consciousness, right? Because that's where all the, 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 power, the data computing power is. It's in the processor, okay? It's seared. So if you take an iron and you sear it, it doesn't matter what type of software you, you put into it. It's seared. It's actually, it's physically, it's physically damaged. So you, you, you guys' minds are physically damaged, spiritually okay because you you are you're um unreasonable you have these guys that are unreasonable that come on a combo esau man he's he's really the unreasonable man <clears throat> here it is you give him facts about how he has a pressure of people and how this this current sy uh, system is set up to um to break your spirit and he sees all the things that are happening to the israelites and he doesn't consider none of those things he calls you a how, he calls you a racist okay but this is just going into all these seducing spirits that are out here here in America, man. There's there's multiple sedu seducing spirits to do what? To seduce you to what? To overthrow you. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, 
which the Most High has uh, created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Just, you know, you had guys back then that say, oh, you can't eat meat or you can't, you got to, uh, you can't deal with women. You have guys now that teach that. You actually have whole doctors built, based, built up, 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 upon that veganism, uh, uh, abstaining from dealing with a woman. Okay, let me, uh, let me bring out another script. I'm going to wrap it up. I got to go. Maybe I might do a part two. Yeah, I wanted to get real quick. Let me bring out this scripture. This is uh, Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourselves in wonder, cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Because they're, they're staggering and they're drunken. All these people, they're drunken um, um, from them for some deucing spirits, man. And and what is um, what is alcohol, essentially? It's, it's What do they call it? They call it spirits, right? So this is, these, these different philosophies are, are, are like unto like, a spirit are likened unto like wine or likened unto like hard drink, which are spirits. Because when you drink, you put you put spirits inside of you. Everything you put inside you has a spirit to it. So you people are drunken. Your conscience is seared with these with these uh these spiritual drinks. All right. Which when you drink, what do you do? You uh you hydrate yourself. So you're you're spiritually drunken. OK. It says for the Lord has poured out. Upon you, the spirit of deep sleep. So you see that you see well, you actually see the physical manifestation of somebody in deep sleep. And that's our people. That's that's the that's the Jake that can't see that we're, we're in the time where the Lord is manifesting his name on a higher level. OK, and as close your eyes, the prophets and your rulers and your seers have you covered. So these other Israelite groups, these other uh, uh, people who have this knowledge the Lord, he's covering their eyes. He has he has uh, um, he has given them up to uh, Satan. OK, he has given them up to them, some deucing spirit there. They have no protection. All right. These people have no protection. You know, I wanted to go, but let me. I should go, but let me bring out this. Yeah, let me just go right to the point. Uh, let me just go right to the point. It's Romans 1 and 24. Wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through their lusts of their own heart to dishonor their own bodies between themselves who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever amen amen meaning basically uh, the lord he gave he gave you up to those unclean and seducing spirits okay you had uh, jake in the roman empire back in the ancient roman empire they were given up into homosexuality they were given up to lesbianism they were given up to all type of perverseness and we are now in a revitalized roman empire the uh, re roman empire reincarnated because we are the same people ruling and jake has um, the Lord has given you up to uh, to those uh, to the unclean spirits, the lust, because them lust, them, that lust is just another, it's just an uh, unclean spirit. Which lusting per se is not, it's not bad. You have, it's it's when you lust after uncleanness, uncleanness. You lust after perverseness, unrighteousness. You can lust after righteousness, okay. But so the Most High He gave you up to them seducing spirit because what you you are all about pleasing your own belly. This this is about this is your program and not the Heavenly Father's program, you know, so that's why uh, the Lord, he put that deep sleep upon you not to see that we're in uh, um, we're in the last days. And he'll and he'll and he'll put that 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 seed in your mind to actually hear this word and, and, and don't be moved to come out here and push this word, which that's going to be a condemnation unto you because the Lord, he's going to present all these things unto you. He's going to put your uh, track record out. And say, hey, man, where's your work set? I gave you I gave you the ability to understand this knowledge. Right. I open up your mind to understand and you and you abhor this. All right. And a lot of you guys are just scoffers and scorners. So in the year of prophecy, we know that it's going to be none of the scoffers and scorners. More and more you guys are going to get put to death. All right, more you guys are going to come up against the word. 
All right. And we're going to continue to get stronger and stronger in the spirit. All right. And it's going to be a, 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 um, a evident separation between us and you. All right. Because that's how the Lord set it up. So with that, I want to um, say Shalom.